troops. Welcome, 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 welcome. I have a super crazy busy day. Okay, so I'm gonna do um, a quick read for you. Let's see. It's 1016. No, it's not what I was looking for. Uh, 23rd. <laughs> 7, 8 though. Let's see, it's an 8. So let's see. I, I checked the time, so that's there's something up with that. Because I, I could have sworn it said 10, 10. All right. But I, I mean, I got the goosebumps. So it's definitely, you know, again, breaking it down numerology. It's an eight. Okay. So money, money, power, cycles, lots of reasons. Okay. But um, May 23rd, a couple of cards, May 23rd, today, 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 today. No, look at that. Eight of water. <sighs> um, it separated the five and the three in this in this card. Um, find that kind of ironic. That music stuck in a while. You know, it's it's walking towards good things. Um, to me, it's, it's, you know, especially with the eights, it's getting, getting your power back type energy, um, letting go with the five of cups, letting it go and, and looking at the happy in life again, you know, with the three of cups celebration. Okay. So you're definitely going towards happy. That's too many. All I see is that vibrant, vibrant blue, guys. Uh, if you're traveling, whew, you're going to have some awesome water to swim in. I'm a swimmer, so that would be exciting. <laughs> that would be exciting for me, you know. Um, but I feel like this is all about, you know, gaining powers. You know, some people, I don't know if some of you are looking at it like, oh, I'm walking away from black magic. I, I don't feel it like that, okay. So, <clears throat> we have the Empress. And right now, it's all about wisdom, but right now it's, she's pretty balanced when it comes to her thoughts and her emotions. Because right now she's, well, she looks balanced or she's asking the universe to balance her. It's almost like she's calling in the ethers, you know, like when you do a ritual or something, you call, you know, I'm calling in earth, I'm calling in air. You know, right now it looks like she's calling in earth and air. I mean, water and air. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So she's holding air and water. So I don't know if right now she's looking for help from the ethers, seeking answers, using that inner wisdom. Because this empress is about wisdom. Empress is a smart anyway, but it's it's most definitely wisdom. Like the divine, calling in the divine. Like, hey, what's up with my happy? <laughs> Hello, anyone getting this phone call? <clears throat> but I think it's like, hey, you know, let's you know if there's something in your life that's not great let's walk away from it let's you know nurture nurture ourselves now and you know try to balance out the the mind that the emotional aspect in the mind it, that it that's tricky you know but definitely nurturing herself but to me this is this is her or him but her is depicted on the card Calling in air and water. 
which to me is, you know, the emotional aspect and the mental aspect of the situation. And we have the six of water. definitely has to do with memories, past memories, the past. I mean, it's the Six of Cups, you know, soulmate card, but to me linked to <clears throat> past life, like something, like I almost feel like something's about to be resurrected too through this card. It's almost, this card's almost saying like, don't worry about a thing because every little thing is gonna be all right it's not about a soulmate it's not about a lover i mean i am not depicting it that way at all <clears throat> to me it's it's linked to your past could be a lover okay but not really uh, seeing it like that. I'm seeing the four wands at the bottom of the deck. What else? What else? This is a very interesting read. Very interesting. Look at all the different elements, even though it's, it's water and earth, but like it's all the different depictions on the card, you know? I mean, the fire stands out most to me there, and that's water, you know? And then... <clears throat> maiden of air but then like that being like the fire even though it's water that all talking to the ethers but it's also the empress okay but then you got the six of cups but very like chill very zen energy and this is you know seeking answers questions it's it's unknown she's definitely looking for guidance there's no question that she's not and it looks like this could be like a past life regression type thing. I, I don't feel it, but possibly for some because I'm talking about it. But um, very she's very curious. Very, very curious. She's not looking at the six of water. She's actually looking this way or like a, in the head of her. But like, <clears throat> to me, it's, it's not... It's not even like, what do I nurture? It's, it's not even like that. Very, um, very precarious read, this is. But definitely working on yourself, nurturing yourself. You're definitely having memories, or this is linked to music. Um, but this is definitely like, hey, going in a new direction for sure. But like, what's around the corner? Like, what is that? Like... Is it dark? It's a little dark. I don't have a lantern. You know, like, it's that type of energy. Tell me about the eight of water. <clears throat> All right. Tell me about the eight of water. And I wanted to be like, tell me about the birds and the bees and yada, 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 yada like conjuring it's like even conjuring up something you know like a like spell work it doesn't even have to be walking towards all this even though it's the eight of cups so i gotta i gotta kind of read it that way too but these two cards together that's like that's like conjuring up some stuff this one knows how to call in the ethers which is absolutely beautiful eight of water eight of water tell me about the eight of water <clears throat> five of air I see like jewelry but like I see like little fairies she's got fairies hair too I'm not looking at this five of air as being like a bad thing this is all about future endeavors because the seven of pence is at the bottom of the deck but I'm seeing a roof like a temple um but it's it's a symbol it's more than just it's jewelry it's I mean I 
I'm surprised she doesn't have, she does have bracelets, but I'm surprised they're not more dainty. To me, this is like not lose-lose energy. It's really not. You know, um, and again, like, look at the color. Like the color, the color. And then you got that color in the background, which is the same color of these little guys. You know, so it's it's all about what's around. It's not a lose lose. It's it's the energy. Man, I like this mama. She's calling in. She's calling them in. Tell me about the Empress. Something's linked to your hand too, but that can be a healing power. That can be. I do associate that with hurt, some type of hurt. I'm not really sure. <clears throat> I mean, you could have been in a lose-lose situation and you're moving forward, but that's like an easy read. I'm trying to look outside the box, you know? Okay, whoa, whoa. I'm not reading four. Tell me about the Empress, please. All right, Ace of Elements. This is wow. Whoa. This is whoa. This is every opportunity in one card. Whoa. Whoa. This chica is amazing. I want to be her. I want to be her. She, this is, this is amazing. I haven't used this deck in a long time. This is a brand new opportunity. I don't know if she gets her choice with this card. I'm going to read intuitively. If you ask me, she's... She has choices, not just one. Like, she's got brand new opportunities. She's got, you know, it's like that whole going right towards celebration. You know, finally, like, like putting her hands up, putting a halt to something because it was necessary. And now this one's calling in every single ether, which is just outstanding. But this is also opportunities. It's not which one's first. It's, it's not about that. It's, man, if you're manifesting, you are doing an outstanding job. Like, I don't even know how to manifest like that. <clears throat> this comes easy to someone. Believe it or not, you're probably all like, oh, I wish it came easy to me, right? I hear you. I feel you on that one. But maybe you have that power and you don't even realize it yet. Like something needs to be released from the hand. Some type of power. And to me, you're about to release it. Like, do 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 Like, no joke. Tell me about the six of water. This is linked to... This is just linked to your soul in general. Judgment, intuition. You look at you. Holy, oh my goodness. Look at you. To me, you, once again, you're calling them in. They're not looking at you. This is you being like, help me. But not like that. Like, it's almost. Very grateful energy, too. You know what I mean? Like, using your little spidey powers. Making a decision. And it obviously has to do with this direction. I don't know if it has to do with your past or not. To me, it's saying it's it's linked to your past life, not a past person. You know what I mean, jelly beans? I don't see, like, the two of cups is in here. So I, I don't want to read it that way. You know? So this is whatever this is, this, this communication, this apprehension, um, seeking answers. It's almost like they're saying, look, you can, you got all this. Believe it or not, you do. Remember, you're the magician. You got this. You got the power within. You resurrected. Remember I said something about resurrecting too? That's resurrecting. Forgiving too. New stats, that type of stuff. But like, resurrecting the past where there's a person place a thing and this is curiosity and apprehension all in one like um 
peculiar, peculiar, and I can't even say the word now, peculiar, when I try to pronounce something so it sounds right for you, it's like that's when I have difficulties with the speech, but like that's that energy, very peculiar, peculiar <laughs> energy. Tell me about this made in the air. This is gorgeous. This, this read is very um, heartfelt. It's touching. It's touching. <clears throat> and this is just the element of air. So, and to me, this is, you know, this is all in the air, the ethers. It, it's just... I won't say it's unknown, it's just, and it's air on top of air. It's like you're intelligent, like you would know. Like you would know what to do here. Like I would think you would know, like that one card's throwing me off, but it's almost like it's, you got the ten of air at the bottom of the deck that's linked to the air, right? very unknown energy but this ten of air is like you know what like this isn't heavy this doesn't this not like betrayal here this is once again look at every single element it's like she knows even though it's a 10 but remember i said something about 10 10 i don't know if that's linked ladies and gents but like this one's like what card is she holding oh it's her girlfriend it's her. You guys know. You know your future. You know something. You know the ethers are helping you out. Like, look at that. That's her. And she's holding it to her heart, her soul. And she's calling in every single element. That is just gorgeous. Hmm. You're resurrecting something. And to me, it's your past. Like, you've done this before. Especially if you do tarot, you've done this. But to me, that's anything spiritual. Anything um, humanitarian. Anything is spiritual. You released something. You are working with your mind, body, and soul right now. For sure. Your past, you've done this. You know. It's that insight. You're super intelligent. Don't doubt your intelligence. I, I don't see you doubting your intelligence, but like very um peculiar. Like, I don't know what that means. I mean, I know what it means, but I don't know what it means for the read. Like a very pecu peculiar, peculiar situation. You know, like meaning like, I, I think you would know, like whatever that, like, curiosity obviously but like the way things are like unfolding to me they're unfolding as need be like rest your mind a little bit you know what I mean like this is beautiful energy rest your mind please especially if that's part of the problem right now you know what I mean like if you rest I don't know but to me like that's the message for you like rest Rest your mind. Best advice for this spread, please. You got the sun, okay? And happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that will lead to success. And make sure you continue to have confidence in yourself. I mean, you just pulled the dang sun. They say that's the happiest deck in the damn card. <laughs> Justice at the bottom. You know, fair, fair and right decisions. Do what you think's right. And make sure you stand up for your beliefs along the way because that's definitely... I don't see you having to stand up for it. I don't I don't see you even fighting over it though. Like see what I'm saying? It's like you're already spiritual, like you already got the belief down. But you it's some type of judgment call and it's definitely something you did in a past life, but let me tell you, holy moly, like it's just gorge. And again it's purple and justice is eight and there's a one back to nine, you're vibing high. Let me get one of your, with this deck, best advice with this deck, please. This deck's calling me, because that's what was at the bottom, the joy and stability, which is beaming like the sun, so kind of 
kind of got pulled in that direction. Best advice for this spread. Best advice. And then I want to pull what I'm not seeing because I've, I don't do that. So best advice, throat chakra. That's speaking. What am I not seeing? It's or, or your throat chakra is being open. And that pops out. Crown chakra. What am I not seeing? Maybe this is... What am I not seeing? way too many but that would be the empress loneliness move nope of course it put it away so i mean you're definitely what am i not seeing okay you're refusing to see something and then you pulled observing and then embraced and i see all these twos it's 12 it's two see look at the cards you got you got the two the 12 and the 21 all right, together that's three, six, seven, eight. Here's that eight again. You're not seeing something, but I don't think it's it's not it's not a bad thing. But it's like I don't know if there's a little denial here. You know, like decide honestly what what it is you do want. Do you really want a relationship? So I don't know if you're conjuring up a relationship or if somebody is coming back around. But what I this is what I wasn't seeing in the read. Okay. So it's like you're refusing to see it. Like, do you really want it or do you not? Because you could have changed your mind. I'm not really sure. And then observe. This is the hangman. But this is not, I mean, I don't feel hung up. But you could be, when some, if something was to come in, you know, I'm not quite sure. But, like, this is releasing surrender. Surrender to them. But you don't, you don't need to take action. You're doing good. You already have a new perspective. You know what I mean? And then this is actually the world card with embrace. You know, it's dreams, it's it's things coming true, it's it's manifesting, which I can see that, being open to be grateful, but you are grateful. So over here, it's like with the Ten of Swords, you know, maybe you're not grateful for what's next, because you're not because you're refusing to see you don't want to see something it's like that crown chakra is like trying to peak and it's like you're not it's not it's not happening for some reason like it is and it's not you know what i'm saying like you're doing an amazing job doing what it is you're doing don't get me wrong but at the same time like something needs to end here so what this is saying with the world embrace what's next and that's that peculiar energy like curiosity you know and you might be hanging yourself up by not making this judgment call when it comes to something maybe you need to walk away from something and you're not or maybe this is you chose to walk away from something because you don't want to see something and this is part of denial all I know is that with the, all these tools with the two 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 and it being an eight that is it's a need to restore balance. But she looked grounded. But remember I said something like there's two energies she really needs to ground. And together those two energies might be air and water. Tell me about this eight of water real quick. Because I don't see this eight of water as a bad thing at all. But somebody might be looking at it like that. You know what I mean? Um, that's, I'm not taking that many. Eight of water, please. Especially... With the five of air, you just maybe you just up and left a situation with because you're just like forget about it. Like, I'm not quite sure again. One too many, eight of water, eight of water. You do have the five of air underneath, eight of water, eight of water. But regardless, you have an amazing outcome. six of wands it does have to do with someone so this is the you not seeing or them not seeing but to me it's almost like you might have dismissed it or this is somebody else that's hung up 
and, it, and doesn't want to embrace something new. But I, I don't want to read them like that, guys. Like, this is all about, like, you, you know, but whatever it is, like, it's going to be a good thing, a victory, even if it's a small victory, you know, but it's like, you still don't want to see something. So say you do have to leave someone. And it's like, you're still hanging around because you don't want to see. See what I'm saying? You're still hanging around being the hangman. But it's like, nah, calling, calling all the mamas and all the papas, you know, earth, wind, fire, water, call them in. And what needs to be ended. Forgive if you need to forgive. Move forward. Okay. Like there's some type of curiosity here. There's some new adventure. So it really just depends on who you are and how this connects to you. Okay. But gosh, it's, you know, it's, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um... Gorgeous read. To me, this is curiosity. This is not like, tell me about this Princess of Swords. This is not like, I'm devastated and, you know, like, I feel betrayed. No. Someone might be trying to seek a reader. Someone might be getting reads on you or vice versa. You know, but to me, this is it's you in the card. That's what's depicted. You know what I mean? So to me, it's 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 you. You have this ability. And it's the eight of earth. All right. So yeah, you're going right towards something brand new. Teamwork too. Okay. Um, you're standing in front of a fire like a little person. Like there's a gnome behind you. Oh, that's not even a fire, that's another gnome. It's like you're in the middle, but it's like you're an angel. It is something. You got all these little gnomes surrounding you. Like, it's, it's time to fly. So, I don't know if it's because you're in this mode that you're not seeing this. I'm telling you right now, if you're in a relationship, you need to, that's no good, that's saying walk away, but... To me, it's not really like that. That's To me, this is you chose to walk away from something that could be victorious. So I don't know if it was linked to work or not, guys. Maybe you turned down a job offer for some. It just depends on who you are and what situation this is, you know? I don't know if you felt hopeless, like this is a lose-lose a with the wheel reverse. Like you, you just took yourself out of a cycle but it looks it looks great there's you know let me just talk to my pendulum real quick this seems to be the feminine's energy that walked away from something Or, like, walking towards. Hold on. No, this is, this is somebody who walked away from something. That, you know, could have been a, vic a small victory, but still a victory. You know? So I don't know if it's saying, like, like you just didn't want to put the effort in anymore. Something like that, you know what I mean? Hold on, this is my daughter's school. I gotta get this. Hello? Hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah, she's not doing so great. I, I um, back and forth with the doctors, so she'll definitely have a doctor's note. Absolutely. Have a great weekend. All right, thanks. So this is you walking up and deciding you don't want to put the effort in anymore, you know. Um, I don't know if it's linked to your past, if you gave up a work opportunity. Um, this is 
know it all energy. Yeah, see, it's not know it all energy. It's like you know something. So I guess you would, I would think that you would know what this was referencing. You know, I don't want you to look at it like there's still no connection here. Like the six, well, you got that, but that's past. It's resurrecting, you know, so could it be linked to the two of cups? Like possibly, do I see two people up here? Yeah, but like to me, like this isn't like, oh, you know, you walked away from something that was about to come together. Like not looking at it like that. Because whatever was holding you back was keeping you from this. You know what I'm saying? Well, not necessarily. For some. It, it's tricky. It, it's, it's tricky. Tell me about this fiber. Air, yeah, real quick. Fiber air. Yeah. transformation like so it's kind of like saying like there's a transformation going on like there's a path I, I don't know if you was in a dark path <sighs> thank you why is it I keep going hold on I'm gonna go I'm not going one more round I'm just gonna use this deck whoa whoa there's that Whoa, there's that air. There's that, okay, goose. Oh my goodness, what just happened? Now it's a shit show. Tell me about the Ada water. Tell me about the Ada water real quick. Ada water. Ada water. Yeah, see, like not, there's that like denial, not wanting to make a decision, you know? Um, tell me about this ace of element, ace of element. But to me, it's like you, you made a decision. So to me, basically, it's saying, it's like blindfolded. Yeah, see, it's like you're not putting the effort into something or someone. But like this is the complete opposite. So what this is telling me, whatever you walked away from, person, place, thing, job, lover, friend, it was too exhausting. But at the same time, tell me about the two of swords. You weren't seeing something. But again, if something wasn't presented to you, then how would you see it? See what I'm saying? So like, but here it's kind of saying like, yeah, see, like you released. But here it's kind of saying you, you, you know something, but you're not, maybe you just, you're not having it. Tell me about the ten of air. Because I'm not, to me, that's, you know something. Like, that's what it's saying to me. Like, it's, it's you. Or it's just like. I don't know, mirror magic? See, that this, you know, that's you again. That's not dual. That's you. That's self-love. So I think to me, it's like, you took your brains. You took your smarts. It's about you. I'm sorry if I just complicated it for you guys, you know. But like... To me, what this is saying is you didn't see something or you're not seeing something. It just depends on what situation ship you're in. Hold on. I just asked to make you guys feel better. There's not a missed opportunity. And I'm going to leave it at that. I, whoever that message is for. I don't know what your future holds or what it will be. Okay. Whether it's person plays a thing. Opportunity is not missed. So if you're in great energy, you continue because this is great. And I could keep going and going and going. And I just, I can't. I have an appointment. Okay. Um... Just know that you got the sun card, you know, enlightenment, beauty, growth, inspiration, light. Okay. Um, some of you are in denial, though, not, not wanting to see something. But I, I guess when it's time for something to be shedded, you, you'll be the first one to know. 
Okay, so just keep doing what it is you're doing because it was it was a beautiful read. You're still doing things the right way. All right, so continue. There's nothing on this board. Let me just ask. See, so there's nothing on this board necessarily if you're that empress type energy that you're doing it the wrong way. It's just there might be some stuff that just haven't been that hasn't been brought to your attention yet. So don't don't sweat it. All right. It was a beautiful, beautiful read. I love you guys. See you later, Gators.